let's deal with some of these issues. Um, there are some questions, and I know you even put out a note about, about uh, to our customers and consigners about counterfeit, but some people say maybe there's not enough real on real real. How do we Oh, boy. That? So, first of all, I'm, you know, that was former disgruntled employees, and I want to talk about what we do today because okay. it's really different. So, let me give you some stats. Okay. All right? We've sold 11.5 million products. Our net promoter customer score is 70. 80% of our GMV is from repeat customers. Now, put that aside. Let me okay. tell you about what happened in October. We processed 490,000 units. Mm -hmm. Our copywriter slash authenticator team removed 4,000 units before they ever got posted. Before it before went... Removed 4,000 units because they, they were, were not acceptable? They were counterfeits. Okay, and they determined that a copywriter who may not... That's a person who is an authenticator at the same time? Well, here's what we do. Look, when we first, when I first started the business, okay. copywriters only copywrote. Okay. And they went to authentication. Later on, we blended in the copywriter authentication. Okay. Each, each copywriter authenticator gets 30 hours of training. Okay. They sit with other people. There's master authenticators. So yes, they plus the the expert, the high risk authenticators, mm -hmm. remove four thousand right away. Okay. So then, that's okay. That's then our QC team pulled another that's our quality, quality control, control quality team control. pulled another one hundred and thirty nine from the okay. site. So if you just look at what that's what we do every day. Our brand is to keep fakes off the market. But now it, that's difficult. I mean, our CBC investigation team interviewed nearly three dozen former employees, including three that appeared on camera. Uh, and there was an internal document that they got that shows the copywriters are subject to strict quotas and that that therefore could mean that there are fakes getting on the site because not everybody, it's a tough model to scale to have all the really, have great authenticators. Oh gosh, let, all right, first of all, let me talk about your documents. They were two years old, they're not even relevant. Well, all right, but secondarily, let's address your point. Okay. We use a combination of data, technology, and humans to drive the authentication right. process. And it is hard. There's no it doubt is. about it. I mean, it is hard. In your statement it is hard. It's hard to get every root every fake out. And the people who make fakes are pretty good at it. They are pretty good, which is why we keep iterating our process. So what we did even in August of this year doesn't look like what we do now. Okay. We have to keep iterating, and we get smarter all the time. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.